Hi there. In this video, we will see the number of features available in latest WordPress version 5.9. Every year, everyone is waiting to see what the next version of this popular CMS is going to bring. You might know that WordPress is now the number one CMS on the market and it is still growing very fast. So it is very common that everyone has their eye on what people behind the core team of WordPress are planning to bring in the new release that will affect the millions of people. Those are creating sites using WordPress. So the first thing which WordPress 5.9 comes with the new theme called 2022. Let's see. So as you can see, since WordPress 5.9 will be the first major release of 2022, it will ship with a brand new default theme called 2022. Okay, the brand new default theme of WordPress 5.9 will take all the cool features available in this new site editor. This is designed to be the most flexible default WordPress theme ever. 2022 features a bold design using source serif pro font for headings. I will show you in some time. The theme also comes with a bunch of ready-made patterns that you can use in the site editor of the or the blog editor while creating content. Let me show you what is patterns. So WordPress has introduced patterns recently. So number of patterns are available. You can add beautiful design ready to go layout. It is basically layout in your WordPress site with simple copy paste. So you need to log in and once you are logged in, you can just copy and use it in your website. So this is one of the very cool feature. Also, you can use a photos. Let me show you what photos is about. So WordPress has created one repository that is wordpress.org slash photos. Here users can submit their photos and as a developer or a content author, you can use these photos in your website without any use, without any issues. So this is also a very good feature. So these are two things which is there in this new WordPress update. The next thing is full site editing. So what is full site editing? So before WordPress, before we go into site editing, once you are updating, you are done with the updating WordPress version to 5.9. You can see this dashboard where you can see this banner with few details. The first is author rich content with blocks and patterns. Block patterns are pre-configured. So there are few blocks which are pre-configured in your WordPress and block layouts are there. And you can always use to create new pages in no time. Also, you can customize your entire site. I will show you in a while. There is one editor option. Here you can edit your entire site using block themes. And the last thing is which of your sites look and feel which styles. So when you edit your site, there are few style options as well that you can use. Okay, so this is uh, something new. So what about the post and pages? So you can always edit post. So when you edit the post, you can always use a block editor. Click on these three lines and it will open a list view. A list view is something all the blocks, all the content available on your page. So on this hello world post, there is only title and content a paragraph. So as you can see, uh, th these are the default options which were already there in the block. You can select the the color of this theme or uh, the background color of this page and default color link color and typography as well so this this one is for post the same as for pages so you can edit page and as you can see here in the list view you can see number of sections the first one is paragraph 
it will select this paragraph and here you can use some options like you can copy this paragraph or you can simply duplicate you can insert and uh, you can insert before or after some elements you can move this to, to before or after as you can see i'm moving this you can drag and drop and rearrange this paragraph so this was not available before this wordpress release so this is very cool and easy to use you can easily drag and rearrange your content right so before this wordpress 5.9 version when you uh, let me show you with uh, site editor okay so if you hover on appearance did you notice something something is missing there it was customizer before and now customizer is not there and instead of that the editor option is there what is the editor so editor is basically a site editor a full site editor here as you can see this is the home page right and in the left side you can see the list view this is the header let me close it and footer so header footer as you can select it will automatically select the footer the query loop this is for post and there are few options like you can duplicate and all the other options make template part it will it will insert this query loop in a separate template part here same as other blocks same as i explained before you can simply drag and drop these columns and it is it is very smooth and yeah this this works very fine so this is very useful uh, whoever content author is using for creating or updating the content every day and uh, you can also drag and drop you can uh, easily put it like this yeah and uh, let me show you if i want to change the logo i will simply click on this logo and it will ask me to replace the uh, logo part and uh, again i can copy and uh, other stuffs are there i can simply add the content here edit the content like okay and uh, once you select it you will get other options like you can move it you can uh, link it uh, to some external link as well hello world title is there you can always change it to h3 or there are few options like you can uh, regroup it you can simply put it uh, after this image and uh, if you don't want to do this from here you can simply move it using this arrow button so this is uh, one of the major update the site editor using site editor you can um, edit your website in a single frame using block editor this is a block editor and uh, the site editor is uh, basically used to edit whole, uh, complete site on the top of this uh, site editor you can select header it will select the header you can select the footer it will default select the footer and there are templates i will go uh, through that later on so this is the site editor on the right top part you can see the template and block this is uh, the default thing here you can see one icon for styles here you can select the default style for your website it will be a uh, default site a typography and it will select uh, the text element with the font right source serif pro it is a no new font available introduced in this wordpress 5.9 you can change the size as you can see here i am changing uh, the size and it will reflect on the complete wordpress site this is the default site for creating and updating the typography for the complete site here let me show you yeah this is the text 
also you can change the typography for links as you can see here and this will change the typography for complete website right just like typography you can uh, change the color the color of your uh, site the color of your palette you can change uh, the theme from white black or whatever color you want this is the default uh, settings also you can change the background of a particular blog or particular element using this css as well as text and links so uh, this is really a good new feature which is introduced in wordpress 5.9 you might find this um, little bit uh, confusing at this moment i also do but uh, once you are used to it it will be fun so uh, this is uh, very good the next thing is uh, important site editor feature is ability to create a new styles for your theme that will apply across all the entire site so these options will apply for your entire site right uh, the next thing is um, when you can when let me show you uh, by example so here when you are selecting any block before this uh, wordpress 5.9 there was no option to add block from here you had to add block uh, you had to add a block from here you need to create um, a block from here so in this version you can add a block here and it will simply add a paragraph here so this is uh, very good that you don't need to rearrange the paragraphs and blocks uh, every time you create a content also one uh, interesting thing i found here is uh, before this wordpress 5.9 when you create a new paragraph you, uh, when you enter this when you click here and it will automatically enter the paragraph and it will it will disturb the layout of this page so in this version they have fixed that once you add any paragraph here you don't need to um, manage it again and just like this you can rearrange you can edit the content easily and you can add new content you can add here um, let's say a paragraph and it will this is new paragraph so um, it will be easy to create new content or edit some existing paragraphs or any other elements and when you want to change the block style it is also available right now as you can see you can uh, also uh, add this block as a reusable block reusable block you can make this as a template part and uh, you can also edit this as a html and if you want to change this as a block there is also an option so you can also change the alignment as you can see this is a vertical align and this is middle align and uh, when you when you see the uh, editing experience for the uh, for the content author it looks fine fine to me but for me this looks a more familiar for a developer not for the content author in my opinion but it looks good if you are uh, using this for a long time it will be useful so this was the site editor when you click on templates it will Create, it will give an option to add templates it will be a home page and a 404 page template an archive a blank or uh, an index where you want to show the blog list or a page or uh, any other single post or single page or search so these are the available templates default templates are available in uh, this um, 2022 theme and you can also create new template from here right um, just like templates there are template parts which are header or footer and you can simply add header and footer while creating the new pages so this is very uh, uh, useful when it comes to developer but uh, if the person is creating the content is not a developer or is not uh, that much familiar with the wordpress then it will be a hard um, for him or her to start with but this looks good to me for now and uh, other than that uh, i think uh, the new list of 
theme blocks introduced in this 5.9 is navigation uh, let me show you is the navigation is the template part is a header footer uh, post author uh, you can say next post um, yeah these are the template parts these are the templates which are um, available in this uh, new wordpress version so um, i think uh, there are few block editor improvements that uh, most of the wordpress users spend the majority of their time writing the content right that's why the each wordpress release comes with an improvements and new features that added to the block editor so in this updates the you can move that sections effort effortlessly and uh, navigation blocks are there um, there are better better social icons and buttons and uh, the heading controls are better in this version so you can um, create your headings uh, easily um, and uh, i think uh, that's all for uh, this um, new version of wordpress 5.9 i might miss something but uh, i will be familiar with them once i start using this new version and i hope you uh, I, I hope you li like this video and uh, let's see if uh, you find something is missing in this video please uh, comment down in the comment section and uh, i will cover it cover it up in the next video um, thanks and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet thank, thank you for your watching this video see you next time bye